Greetings, friends, adventurers. It's so good to see you again. Um, now that we're all prepared to go, I thought today we would go and look for any kind of interesting uh, insects and or various creatures that live in the soil in and around the forest. So flying insects, crawling insects, um, maybe they're not insects at all, but there's some other kind of uh, crawling organism and we'll see what we can find. It's going to probably be best look under logs, look under rocks, different places like that. And then maybe we even figure out are they uh, predators, are they decomposers, what's their function in the ecosystem. So it's going to require us to be able to get down close and get down in the soil and get our hands dirty. It's going to be so much fun. Hey everybody, made an exciting discovery. Walking over this log, and as I'm stepping off, I'm looking down, and he's like, oh wow, yeah, that's a really cool little fungus growing there. And so I'm looking, and I'm looking at the fungus, and as I start getting closer to the fungus, oh way, look what's hanging out right there with these fungi that are growing on the log. We got this awesome creature. And just oh, here, observe. Okay, so a couple things we're observing. First, Notice just how slowly it plods along as if it's not really afraid of anything. And then I need you to look real close. I want you to look and you see lines, horizontal lines going along the back of this creature. And at each line on the body, you see legs. How many legs on each side of the body at each line and each line we, we call those segments kind of like a worm has bands on it and then it I means it's called segmented this is a segmented creature and how we figure out what it is is by knowing how many legs are on each side of its body at each segment so if there's one leg on each side at each segment it's one type of creature and if there's two legs on each side at each segment it's a different kind of creature they both the last four letters uh, of the of the name of this creature are of both of these creatures are the same same last four letters the only difference is the first five actually yeah first five letters are different and and so one of them has two legs on each seg at each side at each segment and one has one this one with the yellow spots, this creature um, is a really important part of the ecosystem. Um, so part of what you're trying to figure out is, number one, is it a carnivore or an herbivore? And uh, why does it have spots? And what's it called? Uh and this is a very good sign. These creatures are actually what we call indicator species. And an indicator species is a species that um, <clears throat> just by it being present or not present in a forest will tell you a lot about the health of the forest, overall health of the forest. Um, and this indicator species, if we see it, if we see them a lot, that means it's um, a good uh, indicator of um, healthy forests.
There's one more cool thing about this creature. I'm gonna go ahead and pick it up for a second. This one, it's not, not, not really worried about much. It's just crawling on me. I want it to crawl back in my hand. This is so fun. Just a little tickly. And let that crawl in my hand. Oh, okay. And I'm going to, well, oh yeah, there it is. Oh yeah, so I th when they get scared, they poop. And, well, that, a lot of creatures do that. And um, the poop smells like almond, the scent of almond. And that will tell you, it gives you a little uh, of a hint um, what this creature has to protect itself. And we're gonna let it go back into its native habitat. But I still smell that almond scent. All right, little fella. Thanks for sharing. And we'll be back with uh, um, answers to what that creature is. There it goes, growing away nice and slow. It's not in a hurry. That's another clue to its identification and its habits. All right, good luck figuring that one out. Yeah. See, and we find this little fella and you'll remember from, a, I was just yesterday, got some great footage of this little fella and let's, identify it we know if you look can maybe see uh, it's going to curl up it's probably a little afraid right now but from our last video we knew that if it has that it had two legs on each side of its body at each segment and the segments where you see the lines along its body each one of those is a segment, kind of like a worm. And if it has two legs on each side of its body, at each segment, it is a millipede. If it has only one leg on each side of its body at each segment, then it's a centipede. So this is a millipede. It's the yellow spotted millipede. It, it looks just like what its name is, yellow spotted millipede. And I'm wondering if I held it in my hand for a moment, it might relax and open up so we could see it crawl along. I wonder if you can even see, it looks like there's little tiny mites that are crawling on the body of the millipede. That's kind of cool. And mm, there's that smell, almond. The scent of almond, that is, whenever you smell almond, that is cyanide. And it's why they have yellow spots and why they walk so slowly uh, in the forest because they're not afraid of anything harming them because they got these yellow spots and they know that all the creatures see the yellow spots and say, oh, not messing with that. So it's not afraid. And when it poops, you can, that's what I, when it got scared, it, it pooped. And I think you can probably see two legs on each side at each segment. Um, and so that poop smells like almond. Um, and almond is a sign of cyanide. And cyanide's the poison that yellow spotted millipedes have them, have in them. Um, can't hurt you, uh, you know, of course, I'm not going to go lick my fingers right now. Well, I don't ever do that when I'm out here, but uh, the cyanide in there won't hurt me. And we know that millipedes are, are you answer, are they um, carnivores or sorry, are they predators or are they decomposers? So do they eat other 
uh, animals or do they eat dead things? Yes, that's correct. Millipedes are decomposers. They eat dead things. I'm not dead, so it won't bite me. And so they're not to be feared. And as I said, they're an indicator species of forest health. So it's good to see them. That means we have healthy forest. However, no fire lizards. Thanks for visiting.